ladies and gentlemen, for your co-headline super fight of the evening in the light heavyweight ranks of glory. Making his way to the ring now, his current two-fight win streak includes a victory at Glory 20 Dubai just two months ago. He is Morad Buzini. Murad Buzini began his career at heavyweight, but dropped to light heavyweight when Glory made it one of its six weight classes. A natural at this weight class, always a somewhat undersized with the big boys. At 6'1", he's 30 years of age. This is, he's had over 100 professional fights with a record of 77, 22 and 2, 34 stoppage victories. Coming off back-to-back -back wins over Dustin Jacoby at Glory 20 in Dubai in April. And Randy Blake at Glory 15 in Istanbul in April of 2014. This next man is set to make his 10th Glory appearance and excited to compete so close to his Belgium homeland. He is Philip Verlindes. Thirty-two-year-old Philip Verlinden, the Belgian bull, just miles away from his native Belgian here in the north of France. We are coming to you from Pierre Morois Stadium in Lille. His father, Wim, was a Belgian champion kickboxer who trained under Cor Hemmers. Philip introduced to the sport at a very young age. He uh, took up kickboxing and Muay Thai at the age of ten. He would himself go on to train under Hemmers at Golden Glory Brenna in the Netherlands, now trained by Cor Hemmers' son, Nicky Hemmers, at Hemmers' gym, Brenna. More comfortable at middleweight, would like to face two-sports star, mixed martial artist and kickboxer Joe Schilling, but right now, in order to stay busy, he hasn't been in the glory ring since last June's last man standing tournament in Los Angeles. Wondered why he hasn't been back in the glory ring, so when this opportunity arose, he jumped at it, wanting to put on a show in front of family and friends. It's time for light heavyweight action here on the Glory Superfight Series. Belgium's Philip Verlinden battles Tunisia's Murad Bouzidi. And the tale of the tape doesn't tell the whole story, although all these numbers favor Verlinden. He's taller, he's got the better reach, but what you can't see is what you mentioned earlier. He's got, uh, Bouzidi has twice as many fights as Verlinden. He's got twice the ring time. Verlinden much lighter, nine pounds under the light heavyweight limit, just to let you, uh, give you an idea of where he belongs, that's the middleweight division, but the middleweights aren't lining up to face him. Here's Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, these two light heavyweights set to battle for three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, standing on my right and fighting out of the black corner, a WKN European champion and two-time WFCA champion in two separate weight classes. His record truly impressive. 77 wins with 22 losses and two bouts scored even. 34 of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet, one inch tall, 1.86 meters. He weighed in at 209 pounds, 94.9 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Tunisia. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Moran Bouzi. Here's his opponent standing on my left and fighting out of the white corner, a Belgium champion and two-time world champion. His record, 44 wins with 12 losses and one draw, 16 of those wins by knockout. At 16, two and a half inches, 1.89 meters. He weighed in at 201 half pounds, 91 kilograms, fighting tonight for Belgium, ladies and gentlemen, the Belgium Bowl! The referee wants to get in charge of the glory ring, John Axwood. Blijf het weer, kan je niet raken. Dan ben je dus daar. 
John Axwood, referee, three three minute rounds in the Glory Light Heavyweight Division. Both of these veterans started their respective martial arts training at the age of 10. Both have had lengthy careers thus far, both wanting to make waves. Erlinden, of course, would like to do so at middleweight, while Buzidi wants to maintain his status here in the light heavyweight division. Buzidi in the black gloves, Verlinden in the white gloves. Buzidi told us he hopes that Verlinden came to fight. Verlinden fancies himself a technician known for his speed and technique. Yeah, it's gonna be technician versus bomber. Buzidi said he thinks he's gonna work the rope, slide out, stay away. And he's to chop him down, get him in front of him. 34 of Buzidi's 77 wins have been via form of knockout. 16 of Verlinden's 44 victories have come inside the distance. There's a good punch, eye kick combo by Verlinden. Once Buzidi gets inside, he's a high volume puncher. He'll let him go. Left hook behind the guard by Verlinden. Buzidi gets the better of that exchange. Buzidi will also throw a hook and a knee, a left hook and a knee. Very dangerous. Attacks the body with the jab. <laughs> One two by Verlinden, that was blocked. Inside low kick was checked by Buzidi. I kick blocked. Ozidi <laughs> continues to chop away at the lead leg with those outside low kicks. Yeah, he's got to slow Verlinden down. Verlinden's going to rely on his movement. Got to take those legs out to keep him in boxing range. Ah, nice throwing bombs. Left hook to the body, right outside low kick by Buzidi. There's the teeth, the push kick. Erlinden comes forward, doesn't have the pop that Buzidi does, and he bounces those punches off the high guard of silent power, Murad Buzidi. Erlinden bouncing up and down on his feet, wanting to utilize that footwork. Find the opening. Buzidi, meanwhile, just Focusing on the attack. Again, chops away with that outside low kick. Now has a corner by Verlinden coming for knee, and then a barrage of punches by Verlinden. His first offensive outburst that was met well by Buzidi. So good opening round here between two glory veterans. Well matched. Buzidi with a nice high guard waiting to counter, and he's coming in, just hooking and chopping with that kick. Beautiful combination. Like I said, he also threw a knee off of him. He told me specifically, I love the knee off that hook. Right there, it was checked and checked hard, but he threw it. Coming into this fight, both with high connect rates when it comes to kicks. Coming into the fight, Verlinden had connected on 62% of the kicks he's thrown here in glory, while Buzidi was an even 50% of the kicks he has thrown coming into this light heavyweight showdown. Verlinden with a record of five and four in glory. Buzidi, four and four. What? The bell in round two. Buzidi's corner urging him to hit the body. Go down to the body, rip it up. Let me check that kick. High kick blocked by Buzidi. 
Wants to swim in, get close, mitigate that reach disadvantage. They're Linden at 6-2, Puzini 6-1. How'd you have the opening round? I gave it to Bazzini. I think positionally, damage-wise, I think he's so far winning the game. I don't know if he can keep up with the pace, though. That's my concern for him. Push kick by Buzzini, Berlinda. Laterally moving, wanting to get off the ropes. There was a check left hook that bounced off the glove of Buzzini. Buzzini finishes with a kick. There's a push kick by Verlinden. High kick that's blocked. Now Buzzini wants to crowd him, and that was just below the belt. Be careful. Go on. What? There's Verlinden puts together a combination yeah. inside low kick. So he clipped him a little bit too. Putting a lot behind those punches, but again, you can see speed is his forte, power is Buzidis. Yep. And at this weight, especially knowing that he came in so much under the light heavyweight, you almost see why Verlin is his best suited at middleweight where he could be a, a big force. Yeah. And again, he's mentioned he wants to face Joe Schilling. Current middleweight champion Artem Levin coming off a highly controversial victory over Simon Marcus at Glory 21 San Diego. Buzzini would like to avenge his last loss in Glory where he was starched on his birthday by Salo Cavallari, who is now the number one contender for the Glory Light Heavyweight title currently held by Gokan Saki. Buzzini switched his stance. And he start kicking more. Stand back. Jab by Fair Linden, but a quick counter combination that scored for Buzzini. Yeah, Buzzini's only thrown really one body shot since his corner gave him that advice. He had one right there to the chest. He needs more of those body shots, ripping body shots, liver, sternum. We are through two rounds here at Pierre Morwa Stadium in Lille, France. You're watching the Glory Super Fight Series. There was some uh, low blowage right here, sort of a knee shin right in the not so good zone. But look at this punching combination. For Linden just letting it go at the very end of the round. Well, the holy trinity of kickboxing's in attendance. We've seen Semi Schilt, Remy Bonyaski. There's Mr. Perfect, Ernesto Hoost, the man who, along with Schilt, Recorded the most K-1 World Grand Prix Championships with four supporting Glory Super Fight Series. <laughs> the third and final round begins. Verlinden known for his boxing prowess, oh. but just ate a counter right cross by Buzidi. Many opponents in the past have said that Verlinden's the fastest guy that they have faced. Wants to utilize that speed and footwork there. Shifts away from the ropes. Well, he's got great angles, too, and his height doesn't bring those knees up. Sustained attack by the Belgian bull, but again, a lot of those shots not scoring up cleanly. Yeah, he told me he's hoping to get Buzzi to run into a shot, get over aggressive, kind of, you know, run right into something. Buzzini told us he wanted to maintain a high tempo, make it a fight. So far, for the most part, Verlinden's obliged. Yeah. Oh. But the counter by Buzzini. Minute gone in the final round. Buzzini trying to get in close, delivering those short punches. Step back. 
Mazzini's stalking his way in. Step back, step back. Buziti opened his own gym, Buziti Gym in the Netherlands. In April, had his idol, his mentor, Peter Arts, hold a seminar on the opening day. Peter Arts, of course, also uh, forced to fight Buziti. As you'll remember, back at Glory 4, Tokyo, that marathon night, New Year's Eve. I was there. Of 2012, I, I was there for the most part. I think I checked out uh, halfway through that tournament with yourself and Stephen Quadros, our colleague who's in Thailand filming a movie. Hope to uh, have him back for Glory 23 Las Vegas, now coming up on the final minute of the final round. Buzidi's picking it up now, adding the kick flows. So Buzidi coming forward. And Verlinden's output definitely abating here in the latter stages of the round. Hands are a little lower. Now goes high, Peekaboo. Tries another kick. Counter, though, Buzidi more effective with the counter shots. Yeah. Oh, almost dropped him there. Biting kick by Buzidi. So Buzidi really with one last onslaught. Under 20 seconds left in the fight. And he's hungry, put the referee out. He's stalking Berlinden. There's a couple of left hands by Buzidi. Berlinden turns his back to him. So we go the distance in this light heavyweight affair. Murad Buzidi and Philip Verlinden. Buzidi's hands are raised. Is that a sign of things to come? We'll soon find out a competitive affair that Buzidi seemed to really uh, put into overdrive in the final minute of the fight. Hoping to move past the 500 mark during his glory tenure, looking for his fifth victory. Philip Verlinden, meanwhile, in his 10th fight with a record of five and four. So here's what went down between these two glory vets here on the Glory Super Fight Series. Good combinations by Buzidi, mixing it up with punches and low kicks. There's a knee from Verlinden. He came forward. That was probably his best offensive outburst. The counter left hand from Buzidi found its target. Nice left hooks there by Verlinden. Went to the body, then upstairs. But Buzidi, for the most part, Pressing the action, coming forward. Will he move forward with a victory? We're about to find out. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing, we send it to the judges' scorecard. All three judges scored about the same, 29-28. A unanimous win, a decision for your winner, Moran! So Murad Buzidi makes it three wins in a row in the glory ring. He mentioned he would like an opportunity to avenge that ignominious defeat on his birthday back on November 23rd, 2013, when he was knocked out by Salo Cavallari. Of course, Cavallari has the next shot at the Glory Light Heavyweight Championship. Meanwhile, Bear Linden, he wants to move back down to middleweight and would like to test his talents against Joe Schilling. We'll wait and see if that fight comes to fruition down the road. Murad Buzidi, what a fight, buddy. You brought heat. You knew Verlinda was going to be tough, a technical battle. Was he the fighter you thought he was going to be tonight? Because he brought, he brought it strong. Bonjour, France. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a? Merci beaucoup. I love this sport. Uh, yeah, Philippe is a very good fighter, very strong fighter, technical, very good fighter. He was uh, what, I, what I expected. I had a very good game plan, trained with my uh, great trainer, Musi Dakamran. Uh, everything went great, man. 
You look amazing. Tell me, who do you want next? Perhaps the title. If I get a shot to the title, I would love to. Well, you heard it. He wants the title. Us, thank you very much. Back to you, Mauro. Yes. Let's this fight go on. Ken Francois Ambeng. Oh, what a shot from Green.